Hello and welcome to part 2 of the 3 part lesson on CAD preparation of the ANSYS innovation course on aerodynamics of an FSA car. In this lesson, we will discuss how to repair and clean the CAD which we have simplified in the part 1 of this lesson. Let's get started. Launch ANSYS Discovery, go to File menu and load the provided simplified FSA car geometry file. The car geometry is about 3 meters long, 1.2 meters high and 1.4 meters wide. Now the first thing to do after loading a new CAD model in ANSYS Discovery is to check its integrity by using the Check Geometry tool under the Measure tab. First select the assembly from tree and then click on Check Geometry. Clicking check geometry returns no error messages, which means that this is a valid geometry. If the CAD had any errors or warnings like self-intersecting face topology, illegal face intersections, discontinuous geometry, inexact edge, etc., then this pop-up would have appeared with the list of errors. Using the available options here such as zoom to fit selection, hide others, delete face, you can try to resolve the selected errors. Now to make the CAD suitable for meshing, we need to check whether any repair is needed in the CAD. For example, there may be surface bodies, split edges, small faces, etc. These and other issues that will be discussed in what follows can be fixed using the repair tab. The first group here under the repair tab is the solidify group. Tools in the Solidify group fix problems that may exist in the imported geometry which prevent the model from being solid using stitch, gaps and missing phases option. Clicking these options will detect the selected entities using default settings and display the output in the status bar of the bottom of the screen. If the default options are not suitable for your particular model, you can change them from the options menu for each option. Let's click on the stitch tool. As there are no stitchable objects, the status bar shows the same. To understand how this operation works, let's take another demo CAD geometry of a wheel which is a surface body as implied by its transparent color. If we now click on stitch tool, as you can see on the screen, it has detected and highlighted one stitchable edge. This unstitched edge prevents the wheel from becoming a solid body. Click on this check mark to fix it automatically. The wheel has now become solid. In addition to the faces that needs to be stitched, we can check for gaps and missing faces too. In our case, there are no surface bodies and no errors related to these options. So for those tools as well, the status bar shows that there are no gaps and missing faces. Let's now move to the fix group to check if our CAD model needs any further improvements. Let's start with the split edges. The split edges tool detects and merges coincident edges that do not mark the boundaries of new faces, as shown here in the example. Leaving these edges unfixed, will result in unnecessary mesh refinements. Clicking on split edges, we see that there are 13 split edges that need to be fixed. Now to fix them, we can either click on each highlighted point to select problematic edge at the point or just click on the check mark. Here after clicking, there is one split edge that has not been removed by the system automatically. So let's try to click on it again to tighten its tolerance. As you can see, it has been removed now. Normally, most of these faults are fixed automatically, but for edges that do not get fixed, we need to fix them manually by deleting or filling them using fill tool. Let's move further and check for any extra edges. Here you see an example demonstrating how extra edges would look if present in the CAD. These edges are not desirable during meshing, so we should try to have a smooth edges as can be seen in the image on the right. Clicking extra edges, we see that our CAD is free from extra edges. 
Let's check for any duplicate faces too. Clicking on duplicates also says that there are no duplicate faces. Options under fixed curves group are generally used for working with curves. So let's move on to adjust group. Adjust group offers more advanced tools. So users must be careful while using the tools under this group. Let's look at one important tool in the adjust group. Suppose that you are meshing your model, but if there are undesirable small faces present within the CAD, it may lead to increased refinement of the mesh. So, it is better to identify and eliminate those small faces at the CAD level itself. In order to do so, click on the small faces option. Here, as you can see, with the default settings, three small faces have been highlighted. Zooming to the first two, we see that they look like a sliver surface, which is undesirable. So let's click on these highlighted faces and try to fix them automatically. Similarly, let's check the other face. This also looks like a sliver face and is also not desirable. So let's try to fix it by clicking on it. For this face, however, no automatic fix is being applied. As a first check for any small faces that do not get removed automatically, see if there are any adjacent highlighted small faces and try to fix them first. Then try once more to fix the face that could not be fixed in the first place. Here there are no adjacent small faces marked. In such cases, we need to fix it manually. To do so, press escape to get out of the small faces option. Now select that small face, right click and then select delete. As you can see, deleting that small face has led to missing face due to which the chassis body has now been converted to a surface. To fix this, go to solidify group and click missing faces. Once it detects the missing face, click on the check mark to extend the neighboring faces and create the missing and thus solidifying the body. To verify that there are no small faces left in the model, let's click on the small faces option again. There are no small faces detected and hence the issue has been fixed. For more information on the repair tab tools, we can always press F1 to go to help or use the question mark in the upper right. Hover over any of the tools or activate the tool by clicking on the tool and look at the different options from here. Alternatively, you can also activate any tool and then click on question mark in the upper right corner to know more about the active option. Apart from the options under the repair tab, there are some more options available under the prepare tab which you may use for preparing the CAD for meshing. Let's have a look at some of those options. Here we can use the interference option to check the interfering bodies. As soon as you click on the interference option, discovery starts to search for any interfering bodies in the CAD. If any interference is found, you can click on the right check mark to fix them automatically. Here, the CAD has no interfering bodies as can be seen in this status message. Another important option is a short edges option. This option detects any edges that are smaller than the specified limit, which can have an adverse effect on the mesh quality. As the option is activated, the short edges are highlighted and you can look at them to check if they are really needed in the CAD and fix them if they are not required by clicking on the check mark. Here, in our case, one short edge has been detected with the default values. Since this short edge is not desirable, let's try to fix it automatically by clicking on the check mark. Now, as can be seen here, there are no short edges in this CAD. With this, our CAD is good for further processing. Let's summarize what we have learned in this lesson. We learned how to repair and clean the simplified FSA card geometry with the help of options available under the repair tab for generating error-free mesh. Specifically, we looked at tools under solidify group for solidifying any surface bodies. Next, we understood how to use tools under fix group for fixing any split edge, extra edge and duplicate faces. Then using small faces tool, we learned how to detect any undesirable small faces present in the CAD 
and how to fix them. Finally, we saw how to use interference tool under the prepare tab for searching and fixing any interfering bodies and short edges tool for detecting and fixing short edges that may create problems during the machine.